Connor Brown, tough day at the office today against Lago uh, one point or one score defeat for yourselves in the semi final. Yeah, it was a massive game for us. First senior team to come through in the semi final, and we thought we'd do ourselves proud, the school proud, by reaching the final. But uh, look, we have them days of not making the final. Uh, uh, talk us through the game because uh, the wind played havoc, particularly in the early stages, and particularly when the ball was put through the foot, uh, either kicking for touch or from the tee, just wasn't quite working for either side. Um, what's going through your mind at that point when, when maybe plan A isn't quite working out the way you wanted it to? We always had a plan B behind us, and we went from plan A to plan B, but the wind took it a bit away from us, and it just didn't work out in the day. Of course, some very impressive performances from uh, some players who've been floating around this team for a couple of seasons. Um, particularly defensively, some really vital last gasp kind of touch tackles at the end just to keep players out. It uh, kept you in the game and, and kept you within that score for the most of the second half. Yeah, we were telling our players just hit low, have a second body in there just to go high and knock them back off territory. But look, we missed tackles. They sometimes lose games and should look. Days are days, we have bad days. Murnex traditionally would probably be better known for their Gaelic football exploits than for rugby. How important is it that uh, the variety of sports, I know we spoke to Mr Payton in an interview a few moments ago and he talked about the basketball team and the soccer team doing quite well as, as well. How much does that competition between the different sports uh, drive all of them on to succeed? It's massive. For the school this year we were planning on getting to a final in each sport and succeeding. Um, the basketball got to an All-Ireland final and won it, the soccer got to the final but sad, sadly lost and we were planning on going to win the Connacht A, be the first senior cup in, senior team in Mordex to get through but look, the days come to an end finally. I think you can definitely hold your head up high after the performance out there today. Talk to us about the growing strength and depth in this team because you were fairly off the pace in the semi-final stage or in the knockout stages, the group stages last year. You kind of went out in the last day, uh, I think to the Jazz in the last game here. Uh, this year you're one stage further to the semi-final but you look like a stronger unit. It's massive. The boys coming up from TY in fourth year is uh, getting better and better each year. So we uh, tell the boys now, do us proud next year and get reach one more stage which is fine. Well listen, uh, hard luck today but congratulations on a fine couple of seasons in the jersey for Murex. Thanks very much.